The ELISA, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, is one of the most sensitive and reproducible diagnostic techniques available for the detection of an antibody or an antigen in a sample. Macodia offers customers diagnostic kits of the highest quality, providing excellent performance and reproducibility in a convenient and easy to use format. We use all monoclonal antibodies, ensuring long-term reproducibility. Our assays are available in two different formats, sequence and simultaneous. If you would like to learn more about the technology behind these tests, please view our technology film. This film will guide you through the sequence assay. Please note that this is a general description of the assay procedure and each assay has a direction for use that should be consulted for the exact procedure. Please note that warnings specific for each assay are listed in the directions for use. Before getting started, make sure you have the equipment listed in the directions for use and that it is in proper working condition. In this demonstration, we will perform a pro-insulin ELISA. Inside the kit, you will find the directions for use, a plate, and kit-specific components such as calibrators, assay buffer, enzyme conjugate, enzyme conjugate buffer, wash buffer, substrate TMB, and stop solution. Take a few minutes to review the directions for use, as well as familiarizing yourself with the components. It is helpful to have a worksheet to record the assay information. We recommend you record the lot numbers for the kit and reagents on your worksheet. Be sure to bring the reagents to room temperature before getting started. You can use this time to plan the run, using the worksheet, designating wells for calibrator zero, the calibrator curve, controls, and samples all in duplicate. Analyzing controls along with unknown samples gives quality control of an assay run and ensures reliable evaluations and conclusions. Macodia offers species-specific control kits for most of our assays. You can remove strips that are not needed, replace them in the bag with the silica gel, and seal with adhesive tape. Pour the enzyme conjugate buffer directly into the enzyme conjugate 11 times bile. Prepare your wash buffer and sample dilutions as needed. Any kit specific procedures, special sample considerations or special applications can be found in the directions for use as well as in product specific technical notes. Now you are ready to start the assay. Pipette the calibrators, controls, and samples in duplicate into the wells. The calibrators will appear yellow in the wells. It is important to use correct pipettes for the volume needed. Add the assay buffer to all wells, preferably with a multi-dispensing pipette. Notice the color change from yellow to pink. Incubate the plate on a plate shaker at room temperature, in this assay, for 60 minutes. The shaker should be set at 700 to 900 RPM orbital movement, and a plate sealer is not needed. The proper incubation times are listed in the directions for use. We recommend using an automated plate washer when washing, however, manual washing is also approved. When using an automated wash, be sure that the program setting does not include a soak function. Wash six times and after final wash, invert and tap the plate firmly against absorbent paper. The procedure for manual washing can be done with a multi-channel pipette or a squirt bottle. To learn more on manual washing, see the manual wash technical notes. Add the enzyme conjugate solution, preferably with a multi-dispensing pipette. You will now notice a blue colour in the wells. Again, incubate on a plate shaker at room temperature, in this case for 60 minutes.
perform the wash following the same procedure as before. Add substrate TMB to wells. Make sure to change pipette tips between conjugate solution and substrate TMB. Incubate at room temperature, in this assay, for 15 minutes. Wells undergoing a reaction will turn blue. Add stop solution to each well. The solution in the well will turn yellow. Shake the plate for 5 seconds to ensure the reaction has reached a complete stop. Read the optical density at 450 nanometers and calculate the results. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our technical support. If you would like to learn more, please refer to the directions for use in PDF format or the technical support section on our website or see our film about ELISA technology.